A policy meant to deter migrants from coming into this country expires in a matter of hours, and its fate is now in the hands of the Supreme Court. And we're also learning New York will be getting hundreds of millions of dollars for the migrant crisis. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more for us. Dick. Well, Maurice and Jessica, the money is said to be a substantial chunk of the some $800 million targeted by the feds for the migrant crisis. It was negotiated by Senator Chuck Schumer, the majority leader, and it can't come soon enough. Mayor Adams announced the news on Twitter. Thank you to Senator Schumer and Congressman Jeffries and our New York City delegation for fighting for our city's fair share of funding for asylum seekers. This work hasn't been easy, and there's more to do, but every bit helps address this crisis. The move comes as New York is expecting even more migrants, with word that Title 42 is set to expire. The policy was put in place under former President Trump. It let the U.S. expel hundreds of thousands of migrants on public health concerns during the pandemic. But we've had over 30,000 asylum seekers arrive. 20,000 are still in our shelter system. Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine says things will get even more overcrowded. Yesterday we got four buses, uh, over 200 individuals. It could be 1,000 a day arriving. And that's going to require really dramatic measures. Yesterday, the U.S. Supreme Court temporarily blocked Title 42 from ending. We will be calling upon those who have registered to testify in panels. The New York City Council held its second day of hearings on the migrant crisis. Homelessness is a trauma, make no mistake. But this type of homelessness is a trauma on a different level. Former City Council Speaker Christine Quinn now runs WIN, or Women in Need, which houses 14% of all homeless families in New York City. She says word of a second suicide by an asylum seeker in a shelter exposes the need for greater services. If we don't have mental health services at a very high and sophisticated level, these families will begin to lose hope. Now, the Biden administration has until this evening to respond to Justice Roberts' decision, at least temporarily, keeping Title 42 in place. The Department of Homeland Security said it will be ready to respond to any new order from the high court. In the newsroom, Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. Okay, Dick, thank you.